Hey, good evening, good evening. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another Pro Wrestling Talk video brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the Tube. I'm your host, Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram. So, for this video, gonna do a, another double header review. Uh, we're gonna do two promotions in this in this video. Gonna be doing uh, Marvelous and Ice Ribbon. Uh, gonna review the recent Marvelous Shinkaba. Uh, show that took place on February 21st and after that I'm going to review the uh, Ice Ribbon Yokohama Ribbon 2023 show that took place uh, yesterday uh, February 23rd so I'm going to review both of those shows but first off before we begin I want to recommend that you Check out the link to Game Beauty in the description for an impressive, awesome lineup of video game themed uh, cosmetic and makeup products. And if you see something that you're interested in and, want to like, and would like to make a purchase, be sure to use the promo code BLITZBALLCHAMP, all in caps, and you can get 10% off of your order. So be sure to check that out and put that to good use. Anyway, okay. First, we're going to start off with the Marvelous Shinkaba show that took place February 21st. Um, only four matches, but there were four really good matches overall. So, definitely enjoyed each of these matches. But let's go ahead and get started. The Marvelous Shinkaba show uh, met, that was on February 21st first started off with a singles match. Uh, with Leo Isaka taking on Kensuke Suzuki, and you know letting the fellas start this start the show off, and you know what? It was definitely back and forth, uh, quite an enjoyable match. Um, I've gotten a chance to see Leo uh, Isaka uh, quite a bit in the last uh, few marvelous shows that I've watched, but definitely was a good opening match, back and forth. But Leo Osaka was able to pick up the victory via submission, um, trapping uh, Kensuke Suzuki into a crossface-like submission. It was pretty much a crossface submission um, and was able to pick up the victory. But yeah, good opening match and nice, nice crossface submission victory there for Leo Osaka. Okay, next up, we had a triple threat match, a three-way match um, with the ladies. We had Itsuki Aoki versus Maria versus Riko Kawahata. I have to say, this was a pretty entertaining match. I know most of the time this match was spent with Riko Kawahata and Maria teaming up to attack Itsuki Aoki because we have to remember... Uh, Rico and Maria have teamed up quite a bit, and you know, as a tag team. So it's not too surprising that they, you know, had their ring entrance together, but also were teaming up on Itsuki Aoki throughout most of the match. Now, it, there was, it did eventually come to a point where there was some pushing, there was some shoving, and then both Rico and Maria ended up fighting each other in the match, which I'm not surprised. It was eventually going to happen. But it was in the midst of that that Itsuki Aoki was able to actually take advantage and pin both Maria and Rico with kind of a jackknife pin to get the one, two, three. Pins both ladies and Itsuki Aoki walks away with the victory, taking advantage of Maria and Rico's bickering and, and attacking each other, which, I mean, it was a it was a three-way, so, I mean, it was every woman for himself anyway. So, but yeah, Itsuki Aoki just happened to take advantage and capitalize on the opportunity. All right, next up, we had a tag team match. We had Chikayo 
Nagashima and Ai Hozan taking on the team of Tomoko Watanabe and Unagi Sayaka. Uh, this was definitely a very enjoyable match. Uh, I've been definitely enjoying Ai Hozan more and more as I've been seeing her, so I'm, I'm really growing into becoming more of a fan for her. And of course, you know, Unagi Sayaka, you know, Gyan is going to be Gyan. Um, Tomoko Watanabe, uh, it was good to see more of her in this match as well. Um, it's a name that I've heard a lot about, so it's good to be able to see more, more of her matches. But this was a good... This was a good tag team match. It was definitely an enjoyable, entertaining tag team match. But when it was all said and done, Tomoko Watanabe pinned Ai Hozan after kind of a modified uh, variation of a Tombstone Pal Driver to get the victory for her and Unagi Sayaka. And even like early in the match, it looked like you know Tomoka and, and Unagi Sayaka were kind of pushing and shoving each other, you know, because it seemed like. Unagi Sayaka wanted to, you know, get in on the action uh, quicker than, I guess, Tomoko Watanabe wanted to allow her to do. So, I thought that was pretty funny. But, overall, an entertaining match. And then, the main event was another uh, Mio Momono match. Uh, pretty much, she has like a best, I guess, a best of five series going on. But this time, uh, her opponent was in the form of the Beyond the Sea, the Beyond the Sea single champion, Arisa Nakajima. Definitely a match that tested Mio Momono. And, you know, she did well. She did do well. It was close. It was actually very close. It was back and forth. I mean, Arisa Nakajima was being her and doing what she does best. There's a reason why she's the Beyond the Sea single champion. But it was definitely back and forth, main, a main event worthy match for sure. But Arisa Nakajima was able to put away Mio Momono with a dragon suplex to pick up the one, two, three. A very hard fought attempt by Mio Momono, but wasn't able to get the job done. But it was a great main event. It was definitely a great main event. Now, what I'm really looking forward to, it has been announced that my girl, my girl, Takumi Aroha, will be returning to compete in Marvelous on March 10th. I'm looking so forward to that. I can't wait to see that. I've been looking forward to to seeing Takumi Aroha make her in-ring return. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be really awesome. So that's it for the... That's it for the Marvelous show. Like I said, it was a, it was a pretty good show. It was definitely a pretty good show. But um, like I said, I am going to be really excited for Takumi Aroha's return. So just keep an eye out. Should be good. Should be really good. And I believe she just recently... I think she just recently came back from the from the UK. Or I think she wrestled in the UK. She wrestled somewhere. It was like in the UK or Spain or something like that. Um, somebody, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe she recently competed in Europe. But either way, looking forward seeing uh, the March 10th show which the March 10th show she will make her uh, her comeback looks like she'll be in a mixed tag match uh, she'll be teaming up with Leo Izaka and taking on the team of Daisuke Sakimoto and Chikayo Nagashima ooh ooh okay nice that's cool that's really cool. So, should be good. Okay, now let's switch gears to Ice Ribbon for Yokohama Ribbon 2023. 
This took place on um, February 23rd. And this had five matches total. And they were, they were pretty good matches. Pretty good matches. First, starting off with a tag team match, we had the teams of uh, Misa Kagura and Seran taking on the team of Kiku and Himiko. I felt like all four ladies looked really good in this match. Um, I know Misa Kagura was taking, taking quite a beating, but also dishing out the punishment as well. And I have to say, Misa Kagura and Seran make a pretty dang on good team. They make a good team. I was definitely digging it. And Misa Kagura actually ends up picking up the victory for her team, hitting Kiku with pretty much like a running Bez press into a pin and was able to get the one, two, three. But yeah, Misa Kagura and Seran both take home the opening match victory of Yokohama Ribbon 2023. Okay, next up, we had another tag team match where we had the team of Suki Umino and Hikari Shimizu, good to see her again, taking on the team of Nao Ishikawa and Yura Suzuki. Uh, if I remember correctly, this is my first time seeing Yura Suzuki, so thought that was pretty interesting. But the other three ladies I have seen before. Um, definitely enjoyed this match. I was, you know, marking out hard for Hikari Shimizu. Like I said, I've really enjoyed her ever since... She had her high-speed title challenge against Azumi, which she was unsuccessful, but she put up an, a phenomenal fight. She put up a phenomenal fight. But this match was really good overall. But Suki Umeno was able to pick up the victory for her and Hikari Shimizu by pinning Yura with kind of a modified crucifix, like a leg trap modified crucifix pin. And then her and Yura Suzuki kind of battled after the match. They still kind of, you know, scrapped after the match. And then, you know, Shimizu, Hikari Shimizu and the others were able to eventually break it up. But I guess Yura Suzuki's kind of a sore loser. But eh, it is what it is. It was still a really good match. All right, next up we had a singles match between Sumika Yanagawa and Kaho Matsushita. Um, of course, I've seen both of these ladies before. Of course, Kaho you know, Matsushita is actually part of Ice Ribbon. Uh, Sumika Yanagawa is actually from uh, Just Tap Out. So this was actually a really good match. One of my favorites of the card. Like my second favorite match of the card, for sure. Um, this one really could have gone either way. It was back and forth. I do feel kind of bad for Sumika and Yanagawa. I mean, falling for the, the handshake bait twice? Like, come on. Come on. That's just embarrassing. But still, the match was awesome. The match was definitely awesome. It was back and forth. It really could have gone either way. But Sumika Yanagawa gets the last laugh in the end as she was able to defeat Kaho Matsushita and pin her after hitting that, that running X factor uh, for the one, two, three. And yeah, she goes back to JTO with a, with a victory, another victory under her belt. But great match. Definitely second favorite of the whole card. Okay, next up we had another tag team match. We had the team of Makoto and Hamuko Hoshi taking on the team of Amazon and Yappy. Now, this was this was a, a decent match, I guess. It was, it was a pretty decent match. But you know what? I had just realized something as I was watching this match. Amazon. I did not realize it until I took a closer look and then looked it up on my phone. Amazon... I didn't realize that was also Aisha Raymond. I didn't know that was the same person. Aisha Raymond, she competed in the, uh, I believe it was the first Mae Young Classic in WWE. 
I did not know that was the same person. Wow, that, that shocked the mess out of me. That, that shocked the mess out of me. So I was like, dang. But apparently she's, she signed a seedling. She signed, signed the seedling. But, but yeah, she has a match here in Ice Ribbon. Uh, but overall, it was, it was a decent match. It was a decent match overall. Um, Hamuko was able to get the victory for her team as she pinned Yappy after a diving splash. Kind of like a Superfly style diving splash. But yeah, pretty decent match, I would say. And then the main event of Ice Ribbon's Yokohama Ribbon 2023 show came down to a tag team match with the team of Sayori Ano and Ibuki Hoshi taking on the team of Totoro Satsuki and Asahi. Asahi, who I've been very high on ever since her singles match against uh, Sayori Ano in, back in Ribbon Mania. So I've been really high on her. But this was a very action-packed, loaded, loaded main event match. Uh, definitely was hard-hitting. And like I said, I always enjoy seeing Asahi and Saori Ano wrestle. Um, and of course, Ibuki Hoshi, one half of the, of the ribbon uh, tag team championships, of course, still with Hikaru Shida. But definitely all four of these ladies look great. I know uh, Totoro Satsuki, she had her chest lit up. Like crazy lit up. But when it was all said and done, she stood tall as she was able to pin Ibuki Hoshi with a modified kind of like a modified Samoan driver and was able to pick up the one, two, three and Totoro Satsuki and Asahi end up with the victory in the main event and it looks like i mean i don't i didn't get a translated uh end post match but it looks like totoro suzuki might want a shot at saori ano's um cross infinity championship you know the top championship in uh ice ribbon so that might be the next at the next event that that they do title match looking forward to that i have yet to see a title match in ice ribbon so i definitely look forward to that anyway or actually actually i think i might have seen one because uh the tag titles um hikaru shida and uh izuki hoshi or ibuki hoshi i think i think i did see see those defended but either way, haven't seen the main title defended. So definitely looking forward to that. But, uh, yeah, two pretty good shows in the books. Um, and, yeah, a lot to look forward to uh, with Marvelous and with Ice Ribbon. I'll be keeping an eye out for Ice Ribbon's next big show. But that's all for this video. Um, don't forget, once again, to check out the link to Game Beauty. And also, if you got a chance to check out these two shows, let me know what you thought. What you think of the matches? What you think of the card? And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell while you're at it. And thank you so much for watching for another Pro Wrestling Talk video brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the Tube. I'm your host, Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram. Hope everybody has a blessed weekend, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.